Hey everyone, thanks for watching Test 2 Plus again. I'm Trace. This is episode 4 of 5 on our Dream series. This week we've covered a bit about where dreams come from, what nightmares are, and even what people have learned from dreaming. But today we're going to talk about kind of one of like the crown jewels of dreams, and that is the lucid dream, or the ability to be able to control your dreams. Lucid dreaming is by far one of the like the pinnacles of dream culture. It's something that everybody wants to do and something that not a lot of people have been able to do. So lucid dreaming isn't so much controlling your dream as it is the awareness of being in your dream. You can influence the dream a little bit here and there, but for the most part, you're just aware that you're dreaming. During lucid dreams, we're pretty wakeful, actually, even though we're still asleep. We can reason, we can remember, it's kind of like wandering around within your dream. I've had a few lucid dreams in my time, but I can't force myself to do it. I don't know if you can, if you have tips, we're gonna get there. Lucid dreaming has been known about for a long time. In 350 BCE, Aristotle wrote that when one is asleep, there is something in consciousness which tells us what presents itself is but a dream. Essentially, he's saying that you can actually experience your dream while feeling awake. You can lucid dream. Hull University in the UK in 1975 hooked people up to EEGs. Dr. Keith Hearn wanted to know if people were aware that they were dreaming and if lucid dreaming was real or if it was just kind of another type of dream. And after hooking people up to electroencephalographs, they found that they were in REM sleep by looking at their brain waves. Then by signaling with their eye movements, with predetermined eye movements, they were able to to say that they were aware of their dreaming, which is incredible to me. So if you want a lucid dream, you can. There are a few different strategies on how to do it. Lucid dreaming involves doing a lot of stuff while you're awake, mostly. Firstly, you should keep a dream journal. Keeping a dream journal is very important. It helps you remember your dreams and it helps you remember them for a while. Sometimes you can remember them right when you wake up, but that's not the same as remembering them tomorrow or next week. So what good is a lucid dream if you can't remember your dream? The biggest way to get into lucid dreaming is to make a habit of checking whether you're dreaming or not. I know it sounds weird, but stick with me on this. If you plug your nose and cover your mouth and you can still breathe, you're currently dreaming. If you look at your hands and your feet and they look funny, you are currently dreaming. Those are two ways that you can tell, but my favorite way to tell is to read things. See, the brain doesn't construct every little detail of a dream. It's not like a video game where they've programmed every little thing and sometimes things you never even notice. The brain doesn't do that. And so if you go to read something, like you go to check the time, you look away, you check the time again, the time is gonna change. Because every time you look at it, your brain is constructing a new reality as you're looking. So for example, if I was dreaming right now, if I look down at my notes, and I look at back at you guys, and then I look down at my notes again, the notes will be completely different the second time I look at it. They're the same, I'm not dreaming. If you get in the habit of doing this throughout the day, every day, while you're awake, then you're going to get that habit translated into the dream world. You can also tell yourself before you go to bed, it's another a way to try and lucid dream. I will be aware when I'm dreaming. I haven't found that to be as useful, but you can try that as well. Everybody's a little different. But really, read your dream journal. Recognize your dream. That is another strategy. Make sure that you know what your dreams are normally like. What dreams you usually dream about? Where you normally dream? Who you normally dream with? If you write down all this stuff in a dream journal, you're gonna be able to say, oh my gosh, I've been here before. I read this in my dream journal. And you'll recognize it and you'll become aware. If you wake up from your dream while you're lucid dreaming or just as you realize you're aware that you're dreaming, that's gonna happen as you learn to lucid dream. You'll be kicked out of it. Just try and drift back to sleep. Don't open your eyes, just drift back to sleep and keep in your mind that dream. Over time, you will learn to lucid dream. And it's not dangerous. There are reasons that you shouldn't learn to do this, but dangerous is not one of them. 
The reason you shouldn't necessarily learn to lucid dream or you should just enjoy dreaming normally is because lucid dreaming also includes nightmares. So you might have to be aware that you're experiencing a really significant nightmare. Reading some of people's experiences at this is to see, they'll see their family members have horrible things happen to them. Or they'll talk to their family members and their family members won't know who they are. And it's this, you'll get this weird trauma. It's, it's not going to hurt you physically, but it, is, it might cause some psychological discomfort or you might just get upset by it. The reasons that you should lucid dream are way more numerous. You get a direct line of communication with your subconscious mind. You can unlock creative potential that you couldn't have before. You can get a mental workout. You know, you can try out ideas and explore your normal life while in your dream life. Many people who lucid dream say that it's the best thing. It's just bliss. It's incredible feelings. And as a writer on NBC News said, Dreams are a reservoir of ideas. Now imagine just being able to walk up to that and grab whatever idea you like. That's great. You don't have to wait for them to show up happenstance. And it's a good way to practice those ideas in your dream. It's pretty incredible. And some scientists think that this is what dreams are for. Have you ever controlled your dreams though? Like I said, I've done it a couple of times. So why don't you tell me down in the comments if you've ever lucid dreamed and if you have, any ideas on how to get lucid dreams more easily or how to do it better? Tell us that down in the comments too. And also, if you want to subscribe for more Test Tube Plus, you can come back tomorrow and we can talk about hacking into our dreams and recording our dreams and the future of dreaming. It's going to be really great. Thank you for watching, and we will see you tomorrow on Test Tube Plus.